Lunch break. of lunch break yes I'm your host uh, Christian Knight here coming at you again hello everybody on Instagram uh, to bring you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch wherever it could be at work at home in a dorm anywhere it could be uh, in quarantine uh, I'm gonna sit you down over here but uh, yes thank you everybody once again for joining us here on lunch break so uh, sorry for the technical difficulties starting up a little bit. I uh, had to do a few little minor details of fixing and lighting. Uh, and I didn't know that was coming through, but because this is all open now. See? You don't see the. Uh, well, you don't see the. Uh, you can't see that. Um, the. Uh, what was it? The graphic card? No, the backdrop that I used to have. So now everything's all open. You guys can see here. So just don't look inside. But yes, thank you everybody once again for coming on the live. Um, we're today, of course, you know, today is Friday, Friday, duh, uh, right before the weekend. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who's out there uh, doing their best um, uh, and keeping safe during this time and quarantine themselves if they have to. It's like, please don't give us money. Um, but yes, but thank you all of you for doing what you got to do every on a daily basis and thank you for all the love and support that you guys give us. We're Today, we're on episode 90 people, 90, 10 shows away from 100, holy crap, whoever thought we were going to make that many already so far, but yes, it is episode 90, season 4 of episode 12 on, on the books, that's what it's called, on the books, something like that, yeah, but yeah, thank you once again for coming on the live, so without further ado, you guys are wanting to know. You guys want to know what are we making today, right? That's what, we're, that's what you want to know. What are we making today? We are making today a steak sandwich roll. What? What? Yes, steak sandwich roll. Because what we're doing is a twist to a regular steak sandwich, but we're gonna make it into a roll. Mm. Now, mind you, not a drop. <laughs> I'm not music. I don't even have nobody to do some stuff, collaborations and stuff. Um, but yeah, so steak sandwiches, right? Where basically a steak sandwich is a sandwich that was that is prepared with steak that has been either broiled, fried, grilled, barbecued, or seared using steel grates, gridirons. Sounds like something else. Um, <laughs> or other form of cast iron skillets or pan and then they serve it on bread or a roll so that's the basic stuff right so and then on steak sandwiches they normally top it with cheese onions mushrooms peppers tomatoes and some actually incorporate instances where it was fried eggs I've had one of those um, and then also coleslaw and french fries also and there's other many many variations in the whole thing but I'll give you four of them so, basically, steak sandwich was the original, original sandwich. Then everybody put their own spin on it and made it a unique sandwich. And I'll give you like the four ones that I have on here. So, cheese steak came from steak sandwich. Because they have steak. Oh, who doesn't know that? Hey, Leo! <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, cheese steak is just a cheese steak or steak with cheese. Everybody knows that. Um, and it's made from thinly sliced pieces of steak that has been melted, that has melted cheese in a long roll, which is a big favorite of Philadelphia. And I had one when I was in there, so that thing was delicious. I don't think I could never have that the same anywhere else. I mean, I could try to mimic it, which I think we've done that. Yeah, we, we, we have mimicked it. But it didn't come out the same, because it's 
but you know, you gotta get it from the source. Um, there's also Italian beef, which this one made no sense to me. Um, Italian beef sandwiches feature thin slices of seasoned roast beef, um, dripping with <coughs> meat juices, and a dense, long <laughs> Italian style can they make this any more PG? Um, it was believed to have originated in Chicago. So that's what it says. I want someone to look that up. Let me know if that's actually true. Um, then there's also French dip. So I like French dip. I, I normally have it when we go to one of these uh, restaurants in Carly Place um, in Long Island. Uh, French dip is basically a French dip sandwich that is an American hot sandwich, also known as a beef. Um, and it's especially, it's especially made in Canada a lot. Okay, um, the last one <laughs> is basically roast beef sandwich. And anyone knows whoever had roast beef sandwich, it just has roast beef right there. So it's a roast beef sandwich. Uh, it is a sandwich that's made out of sliced roast beef or sometimes beef loaf. What? Beef loaf? What the hell is that? Um, and it is sold in many diners in the U.S. Wait, what the hell is beef loaf? Anybody can tell me that? Well, what is beef loaf? I'm confused on that one. I'm um, sorry, I'm accelerating because I'm getting, I'm getting hungry just thinking of all these sandwiches. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, um, we're going to be making steak sandwich rolls here. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is actually we're going to be using skirt steak. So I already pre-washed the, the, the skirt steak. Um, and I'm going to cut them up for you guys to see as soon as slices that we're gonna do and then we're just gonna do a basic rub onto it which is just salt, black pepper, and olive oil and then we're gonna use bum, 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 people who are on Instagram can see it um, our grill yeah peoples we're gonna be using our grill that's right taking it back to old school lunch break right I don't know what this tall keeps falling from here it's like it doesn't want that um, the other thing we're gonna do along with the sandwich is that I'm gonna create Make, not create, not make, create, whatever. I'm gonna be making some caramelized, car, caramelized, 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 caramelized onions with it. That's why I got the nice little. little, 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 little I don't think we can use this one yet. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is wash my hands, of course. You know I haven't washed it before. We always want to be make sure we're all sanitized. Be um, And then we're gonna use this bad boy over here, the glass cutting board. Watching, I'm gonna put you this way. Uh, for us to cut the steak, and then we're gonna place it in this uh, bowl. This is a messy bowl. That's where we're gonna place it. Um, and then put the dry ingredients that we're gonna put in here. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do, steak will steak. Slap that sucker right there, and I used uh, my wife's technique, Melissa, to sharpen these using the bottom half of a ceramic cup. Oh yeah, ceramic uh, mug, right? Mug cup. Ooh. Listen, who says mug and who says cup? I want to know that too. I want to. I want to put a poll. I want to know who calls a coffee cup cup or coffee mug mug. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. To me, that makes sense. So we're just gonna cut this into strips. So all you gotta do is just cut it straight along. Look, there's no effort whatsoever. Damn, I haven't really sharpened these pretty really good. Um, and you just make them into strips. That's all you're doing. Thin strips, you know, whatever size. You're the one that's making this for yourself. Um, and you can pre-plan this before taking this to work. You can cut these up, put them in a Ziploc bag or seal bag. I know not everything's called Ziploc, right? Um, and then put it with the uh, dry ingredients that we're gonna put in the rub for this. And then that's it. So we're gonna take these guys, get the tear here, all, slap that right in there, bam. See, that's all we're doing. Move this a little bit this way so people on Instagram can also watch. Alright. Take a little steak. That's what you're doing. So you just flatten out the steak, or 
spread out the snake. <laughs> snake. Snake or snake? I can't even remember what I'm saying. I can't tell what I'm saying. I should say. Right? There you go. And then just cut along it. Boom. One. One, two. It's very satisfying. You could do this also with the onion, which I already pre cut, by the way. Because I'm trying to do stuff ahead of time. Hey, Amy, how you doing? Um. And then just come on, look, look, look at the effortless of this knife, which I have to be careful because I, I have to make sure I don't cut my own fingers. Because <laughs> baby's not here yet. <laughs> Ooh, here's a nice technique, right? So you get to this one, but you can't make it <clears throat> long enough, right? <laughs> so all you have to do is if you cut in the middle, bam, right? You keep cutting right there, you just made it to a nice long steak. Oh, there you go, that trick, right? Maybe. Our audience knows a lot of stuff. I learned it from you guys. You know that. I only got two more left. So, once again, so you take the flat. Why keep saying flat? You take the skirt steak. <laughs> you lay it flat <laughs> on the cutting board, and see, look, look, see, we got another one that uh, it's almost like a T. You see that? You see it? It's like a T. Is this trying to say it's been blessed? Alright, I'm being silly. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this right here. Right in between, so I can make it long enough. Bam, see? See that, right? Um, to cut, right? And then do the same thing again. Down, 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 down. See, we start cooking there, right? Cut down. There you go. And then last, we have to cut. So construct this marinade. I should plug in the grill now, right? While we're doing that. There we go. So at least it can start to heat up. Then we'll cut this along. This is the last one, right? Yeah. Alright. See how good things are when you have things that are nice and sharp? I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. But there you go, see? And then stick that in there. Alright, so we're done with the cutting board now. We don't need this one anymore. Throw away the thing that held the steak. Alright. And now. I thought that was a person over there, but I was like, <laughs> I just got scared. <laughs> I saw the thing that we're using to make fun. Oh, by the way, hey, Jordan, what up? Oh, uh, if you guys want to join in on the live, uh, you guys can actually message my messenger, or does that make sense? Call my messenger, and I'll bring you in the live. And you'll be live on Messenger, or live on lunch break. Okay. And then you all tongue twisted. I don't know. And then we're gonna take the steak. <laughs> um, and then use these fabulous little things that I decorated for the uh, salt and pepper shaker. And it says lunch break delicious. Yeah, this is lunch break delicious. It literally says here lunch break delicious. Wait, let me look at it. There you go. Why can't I get this proper? There you go. Lunch break delicious. <laughs> right there. Oh. Who's that? Hey, what up? Hey, Reina. All right, so we're going to black buckle this. There you go. Then salt. I'm not going to put too much salt on this because uh, we try not to use a lot of salt or make a lot of salt with this. All right. And then I'm going to use my daddy handy. Where's my special? There my spatula seemed to run away. Okay. And use this one. Back to the spatula that has disappeared. Right, I'm going to mix this in and then I'm going to add in the uh, olive oil into this. I just want to have the steak 
get a nice little marinade. I'm trying not to use my hands for this. I know, I know I do people are like, come on man, just use your hands. That's do. I'm not doing it. Okay. Alright, so grab that. Let me get the olive oil. And then I'm gonna put some olive oil into this. Alright, just enough to coat it. Get a mix of tones. Prep them ready. Mix some olive oil. I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on. I'm gonna show you before I put it on the grill. So I want to show you guys what this looks like. Grease ketchup. Mm -hmm. Turn this rain on. So you guys can see a little bit more better. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Any help? All right. So once you coat your steak with the olive oil, black pepper, and the salt, it should look like something like this. See. So it should look like something like this. Yeah, like that. If not, it should look like something like that. How about that? Can, can I get you guys any closer? <laughs> can I get you any closer? Alright, enough of that. Let's put, let's put these steaks on here. Alright, so what I did is that I put this, this grill actually comes with uh, four legs to make them higher, incline, and all that stuff. So I only put the two legs in the front, so this way I could have a nice little stable grill. And then I'm gonna try to layer all these steaks on here. Oh, yeah. You already know, once you hear the sizzle, about that time. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do, just lay these out as much as I can, so they can all cook fully. I say what I'm supposed to say, but it sounds like I'm saying something else. Ooh. What up, bro? What you doing, brother man? <laughs> um, I am making steak sandwich rolls, and I am going to use my wife's bread. Uh, even though I asked for permission, it is my wife's bread. Um, but she didn't respond to me, so. Sorry, babe, I'm going to end up using your bread. I'll just buy you more later. Right? Happy life, happy wife. Happy wife, happy life. Like that? Something like that? <laughs> I'm trying to remember the saying. I can't remember it. All right. So we put those in there. We got it at 420. Really? At 420? Ah, Jesus Christ. 420. 420. <laughs> yes. Uh, Roger said... Oh, nice, sounds good. Yes, it does, and hopefully it tastes good. So now, the, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start our caramelized onion. So we're gonna let that sit there for five minutes, let it cook nicely, let it cook on both sides and do everything good. And then on here, we're gonna start up our caramelized onion. So I'm gonna let this heat up. I'm gonna start off with some olive oil. I already cut up the onions, like I said before, I pre planned it. So this way you guys don't have to wait to see me cut it. Uh, but, yo, cutting onions, I tell you, is nice. Because I don't know what it is, but it gives like that weird, like, as you're hearing it cut each layer. I forgot what it's called. It just sounds nice. I just felt like getting another onion just cutting just to cut it. Whoever does that? Anybody does that? Alright, so I'm gonna put some palevo in the oil. Alright, the palevo cook. Now, to make our caramelized onion, what we're going to do is that 
I'm going to add in a few different seasonings. So the first seasoning I'm going to add is, is the dobo. Yes, I know I'm Spanish, I'm using a dobo. Okay, so I'm going to mix this in before I put in the onions. So this way, once the onions hit this marinade, it turns out. What up, Andrew? Haven't seen you in a while, brother man. How you doing? All right, so we're going to put some chives. So, so far, all I put was adobo, some chives. Okay, then put some cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. Just a little bit, just a little dash. Ooh, might have to change uh, that soon. Because then, if you see, I'm going to show you guys. Come see, come walk with me, you guys. Come walk with me. Look at that. Look at all that grease that's coming off the grill. I know you guys at Instagram can't see it. Look at all that grease. I just want to sit right back with y'all. Um, so, put in some adobo. Put in some uh, chives, some cilantro. We're going to add in some onion powder. <laughs> I haven't seen adobo or sazon here in California since what? Since you live there? Yo, man, let me know, man. I'll send you some that way, man. I know, man. I know, I, where you're living at is freaking beautiful, man. I thank God and give, give you blessings, man, always, to, to make sure you're safe. And where you're at, you and your wife, be doing good, okay? Um, oh, on your part. Now, because you mentioned it, and I, I, I was going to wait to add it, but you said it already. Uh, we're going to add in some sasson. Now what's funny about this is that I actually acquired this, no lie, from Dollar Tree peoples. Yes, they had this on Dollar Tree. Sasson. They literally did. Uh, Angel said, could I get the first plate of <laughs> Um you will have to fight it against my wife, but uh sure. I'm gonna say yes because she's not here yet. Alright, so now we added that in. Let's mix this all up. Because this is all nice and hot now. As you can see, it's creating a nice little marinade seasoning right there. I don't want to put it too close to the guys so you can see it. But look at that. Yo, this smells good. And I chose the small pot. Um because I actually wanted to cook in this a little bit um more deeper and mind you when you're cooking this for the caramelized onions make sure you have it on low to medium heat and then once you put in the onions you put it down to low <laughs> all right so uh rob said all south and central america food lots of burritos and tacos hey listen i love burritos and tacos uh and just said come on dude we know each other all the time listen we all know each other for a long time even my wife she comes from the same place man she she went to school with us all right so I'm going to be using white onions for this. As you can see, I already cut up the white onions all for you. And now I'm just going to make sure it doesn't splat on my face. Place that right in there. Okay. And then we're just going to use the spatula to break the layers of these onions. And this way they can start cookie with this nice little glaze we made in here. Look at that. Oh god. This is what you call caramelized onions. Make sure you get every single onion to break apart because you want every single one of them to get coated. Try to make sure it See? Don't try to run away really. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this sit for the side, let that cook, we'll put the lid on. So the reason we put the lid on it is so that when it, it starts to cook, it's gonna cook fully inside and merge, uh, merge, merge, I forgot the word. Um, so it's gonna steam inside and cook, and then it's gonna pop out through this little hole. I know my, my wife said the explanation last week about it. Oh, and there she is, hey babe! Sorry, another late night, uh, life of the first responder. Yes it is. Oh, thank you for saying that. I did say that thing in the beginning. Alright, so it's time to take these guys out. Oof, look at that. Oh my god. Wait, 
I, I want to take one out. I think I'm going to give him at least two more minutes in here. Look at that. Look at that. Look how that came out. Look at that, people. You guys want some of this? Look at the grill marks. All right, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to give it two more minutes. Because um, I want it to have a little bit more grill marks. And then we're going to take it out and put it back in our container. And set it aside while everything else cooks. Immersion. Thank you, Rob. Yes, immersion. See, I cannot remember these words. I'm so hungry. I'm like, I'm thinking about food and I'm cooking at the same time. So, oh, and by the way, anybody, like I said before, let's bring you an introduction. If you want to come on live, ta -da, here's our <laughs> guest. <laughs> um, just hit me up on the messenger and I'll bring you into the live. Um, cause at one point we are going to do random calls, so let's see if they pick up. Alright, so that's been in there for two more minutes. Alright, so let's take them out. And... Mm. Alright, so we're going to turn this off. Oh, actually no, we need it. I forgot we still need it for something. Oh, I can't forget that. Alright, so we're going to take out the actual steaks. Put them in here. Oh my god, this came out delicious. There we go. What I'm gonna do is I wanna, I wanna separate them in here to make it easier. There we go, and the last one. Alright. So the reason we're gonna still keep this on is that we're gonna use it. We're actually gonna use it for our um, our steak sandwich rolls that we're making. What happened? Oh, Andy. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Alright, so Babe wants me to call her. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna call her right now. Let's see if this works. This is the first time me using my messenger because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. I don't know if it was gonna knock me out. Oh, look at it. It's Melissa and it's Babe. It actually works, James. James, it works. It works. I'm sorry, I'm excited because it worked. So there you go. So I can actually use my messenger to still FaceTime somebody and still live and cook for you guys. Ain't that sweet? That is awesome. We're doing trends here, James. We're doing trends. Look at that. Boom. Oh, and welcome to the live man. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. I just got excited because I didn't know this was going to work. And hello, everybody, to the world. There's, there's my, my wife right there. <laughs> oh. In the kind of in the silhouette at the moment. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna move you this way only because um, people on Instagram can see you from this side. So there you go. All right. So, <laughs> so it works, James. <laughs> I'll bring her closer. All right. I, I need to get the tablet, so I will bring the tablet. You know, once I have the tablet, I'll, I'll, I'll make that uh, function much better, and you guys can see a bigger, bigger screen. So, I don't, can you guys see her now? Somewhat? Oh yeah, you guys can see her. Somewhat. Maybe what I'll, what I'll try to do is maybe if I get, well no, then it won't have the same sentiment because it's supposed to be a person, right? I was going to think of um, putting it uh, closer to the, um, where the camera is. So this way uh, you guys can actually fully see her, but then the whole picture of her being an actual person won't come out. So, I. I so as you see me, I'm stirring our caramelized onions that are still cooking over here. Still need a few more minutes. What happened? I'm stirring the pot. <laughs> Look how this looks so far. So you guys can see. Hey, Crystal! So here's our caramelized onions, babe. So you can, uh, on, well, you can probably see it. There you go. There's people on, uh, on our Facebook to see it right there. As you can see, they're taking a different color. Um, <laughs> I did. How about like this? No, no, no. See? Here, people. Now you can see the orange. You can see the nice caramelized happy right down this ramp. There you go, baby. No, no, no. You can probably not see it because of the light, so. There you go. Yeah, that's the only thing that's gonna um, gonna take you away. It's gonna take you away from the live, but you'll be live with me. So 
once I get the bigger tablet, uh, you guys will be able to see this much better. And we'll probably do also. What happened? Hi, right, sorry, I'm late. No, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Listen, you, whenever you join is is always great. Um, so yeah, so um, what was I saying? Once I get the bigger tablet, um, we'll have the face bigger, and we probably might do a zoom beforehand. So in this way, if you want to participate in the live, we can bring you into Zoom, and boom, people will be on the Zoom call. Yeah. Hey, how about that? Like that's like like that idea. Right? <laughs> hey, listen, you can never be too much. It's either you bring your whole game together or you don't. <laughs> Wait, what's the saying? How, how's the saying go? It, you're either all in or not. That it it it. That's the saying. All in or not. <laughs> Alright, so, the next thing we're going to do, while this is still cooking, I'm going to just transfer this this way, um, is we're going to take our bread, which I'm steaming my wife's bread. Yo, wait a minute, you're using my low-carb, zero-carb bread? Yeah. I'll buy you more later. It's okay. They won't know. It's our secret. Which, by the way, I will Hold on, let me put your volume up a little bit more so you can say that again. Can I say it again? So you can actually make your own low-carb keto bread or low-carb bread in general. You don't necessarily have to buy it. Um, there's an option for you to make it. And I'm thinking of actually doing the recipe with you one day on my own live. And you can actually tag your little crowd of people who are going to Oh, cool. No, we could, we could do a, a, a watch party. By the way, I had to move slowly that way because that thing was full of grease and I didn't want to burn myself. Oh, Wadi says hi, Piti. <laughs> there, wait, let me put it. I'm gonna try, you know what? Hold on. Let me just move that that way. How about this? Does this work for you guys? Is this better? Can you guys see your other one better? Does that work? There you go, look, look, look. Does that work? <laughs> I'm trying to bring it as close as I can. <laughs> Let's bring innovations by James. Love it. <laughs> Alright, let me just move these caramelized onions first. Because we don't want these guys to burn. That's the one thing. You gotta make sure you're watching your onions. Because you don't the one thing you don't want is for them to stick and for them to burn. You wanna make sure that you're at least stirring them every so often to make sure that they're getting soft enough for them to be nice and edible even though onions on their own without being cooked are edible anyway but you're trying to make car caramelized onions so what <laughs> okay my wife just became a buddy <laughs> all right so let me get the bread we're gonna use our cutting board over here all right and this is what we're gonna do Yes, six sandwiches, but then we're making them into rolls. Oh yeah. You make no sense. Exactly. Yeah, That's the whole point. Alright, okay, so we're gonna get our cheese. Because we need some cheese. We're gonna use our nice flat Colby Jack cheese. We're gonna take my wife's bread. <laughs> and she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me later. <laughs> right, so this is what you're gonna do. So you're gonna take the bread. You're gonna take one piece of bread. I'm a chef. <laughs> you're gonna take a rolling pen. Uh oh, what happened? Let me see 
back up, running. Sorry about that folks, uh, someone called my phone, so, <sighs> literally disconnected me from the, uh, the live, so, so, that's what was happening, somebody was calling my phone and disconnected us, so hopefully y'all guys come back. Yeah, so we got disconnected. I'm gonna turn this off for now. Uh, we got disconnected because somebody tried to call my phone. I don't know why they did that. But yeah, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some bread. Okay? Take these breads out. So we're going to take the bread, right? So I'm going to take the bread, and I'm going to flatten it up. There you go. Yeah. Nice flat bread, right? And then do the same thing for all the ones that you're going to eat yourself, right? Flatten the braids right now. Take each one and flatten the braid. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. None whatsoever. So we just want them to be flattened enough that we're going to use it for our rollers. Alright. And you can use any bread you want. You can omit this bread and just do uh, wraps if you wanted to. That's totally up to you guys. This is just what I'm doing and using for this. Oh. And you guys, this was you can see on Instagram. Oh. And the last one. Alright, so with this last one, what we're gonna do on here is that we're gonna take our cheese, that's the first thing we're gonna do, Let's take our cheese. All right, like I said, we're using Kobe Jack. We're gonna take half of it, or Kobe Jack, put it on one side, Bam. right? Then take some of our caramelized onions, that should be ready. Okay, so we're gonna take some of this, pop it right here on the cheese. This is gonna melt that cheese, right? Then we're gonna take some of our steak, line that steak up right there. That's why we. Like I said before, that's why we wanted it to be cut. Didn't need that way. Alright. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take some toothpicks to hold it in place. We're going to take this, start rolling at the edge, roll them up, the other side, then you get this. You can fold them up if you wanted to also. That works. Um, and then we're going to use a toothpick to hold it in place. And like I said, we're going to return it back into our grill. Then we can slide that right there. 
Boom. I'm gonna do another one. Can you see it? Take out the cheese, put it on the corner, take some of the caramelized onions. Put it right there. Alright. And then take our steak, of course, though. Take the sides and roll them up. Then just put them through. Probably this way is much better. Yeah. Oh. Is not really holding it down at all that I'm seeing here. So that might not work. Possibly. Alright, so this is this. Alright, take that. Take that. Boom. Cheese in half. Like that. Take caramelized onions. Take this one, roll them from the back, put them on the inside, and then put them side down from where you rolled it. That should be good enough for it not to pop open. So do the same thing for all the rest of them. It's like when you do a burrito, right? You roll them up, put them face down, and bam. All right, and the last two. Home. Take the cheese. The last cheese we need, we don't need the rest. Alright. Cut the cheese in half like we did before. Place that down. Grab our caramelized onions. Just enough for at least six or seven. Alright. Then get your steaks. Put them right there. We'll fix that in a second. Alright. Steaks. Place it down. And depending on the size of your bread also, which I don't taste this. Here's what you're gonna do for these. Close your lid, make 
make sure you don't get burned. Set it in there for two minutes. All right, we're all done with this. Wash my hands. All right. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That's basically all you have to do. So, the longer breads will work probably better. Oh, even if you take a regular French bread, um, you hollow it out, stick that in there. <laughs> what happened? There's, there's a delay. Oh, probably the connection. Um, stick that in there, and boom, you're ready to go. There we are. All right. Set that that way. Don't need the cheese. Okay, you gotta remember that two of those, one of those has a uh, And then that's it. And then you get to enjoy one of extra sticks to it. But at the same time, I'm gonna start these up. And I'm gonna size them with some onion rings. My wife wanted some onion rings. So that'll be for her for when she comes. So that's basically it. So you do your caramelized onions, you get your bread, you get your steak, you cut them up in slices, um, you saw them salt, black pepper though, and you put some oil, oil on it just to do a nice basic rub and marinade for it. You put it on your grill, and there you go. Let it sit there for five, six minutes, depending on how you like your, excuse me, sorry, how you like your steaks. And then for the portion for the actual sandwich, uh, you can use whatever cheese you want, uh, whatever bread you want, you can omit the bread and just use the rabbit if you want to. And then roll them up, put them back on your grill, Set it in there for two to three minutes, and then you're done. And that will be your steak sandwich roll, basically. Even if it comes out to be like a burrito, or it comes out to be a wrap, or it comes out to be a sandwich. Whatever you do, classifies as you. I rolled them up, because I wanted them to be rollups. Clean up here. So that's about almost ready to come out. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So as part of the final thing, what you do is you can dress this up, or not dress this up. You can side it with any dressing you want. Um, you can use any dips you want, any barbecue sauce, sauces that you want, and then you just go ham on it. It's, it's your sandwich. You can eat it however you want. You know, it's all up to you guys to basically eat it however you want. <laughs> oh, that's all right, ready? All right, so now, let's see how these puppies came out. You hear that? Oh, and the cheese melted too. Oh my god. All right, so we're going to take these sandwiches. They're going to burn. Actually, oh, I didn't put this. The ones I want. That's a presentation. How about that? Ooh, look at that one. Mm. See that, guys? Look at that. Look at all those caramelized onions coming out of this. Set that right there. and keeps interrupting the live. All right, we should be good stuff. I'm gonna take some of my babe's favorite dressing, which is cheddar bacon ranch dressing for a salad. Because this thing is delicious, by the way. 
I'm gonna put that like this. Right? Then I'm gonna take the. Oh man, we don't have more enough. What? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess I'm gonna just do it on the side. Um, because we don't have any more parsley here. Apparently, I, I already used all the parsley. So I'm gonna use the dough just to give it a nice little decoration of this. Because I like dough anyway. And then I'm gonna put some of the cheddar, bacon ranch, parsley on this. So you guys can see it. That'll be my dip. back on this. And there you have it people. The steak sandwich roll. Or at least half of the world. Now I'll bring you guys closer so you guys can see this a little bit There you go. So there's the steak sandwich rolls that were created. They didn't come out really as roll roll because uh, the um, what's called the toothpick that was in place kept uh, coming off. It reminded me. Okay, well, that's your last, by the way. So, that's basically it. Uh, and then, all you gotta do is decide whatever it is you want to side it with for your sandwich, and you're done. Okay. That's basically the sandwich right there. So, people, don't forget to literally uh, visit all our social medias uh, Christian Knight without the H. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok also, we got it on YouTube. Um, search everywhere. Uh, join our social media, share, comment, like, like, comment, share. <laughs> the, love, the joy and the love of our of lunch break. Um, tell everybody about it, tell the world. Um, don't forget to go also to IMDB and look up the word lunch break. One word, rate us one to ten. Uh, let us know what you think about it, what you like and how you, you uh, appreciate the love of the show, or even if you've made any of the dishes or the recipes, please send them my way. I will put them on the show, literally. Um, and then if you have any suggestions, just send them also to my, my DMs and everything. So, as always, people, don't forget, don't settle for less. And make it your best! <laughs> there you go, the way to get towards the end. Yay! So, thank you everybody who's watching. Hey guys, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Lunch break. Hey guys, you are watching Lunch Break, the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch.
Watch us on TV, Tuesdays at 12 p.m. and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. on Spectrum 79 and 1998. On RCN Channel 83 and Verizon Fios Channel 35. Watch us live every Friday at 4 p.m. on TV, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and Twitch. Spectrum Channel 1997. RCN 85 and Verizon Fios Channel 37. Thanks for watching.